Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest along with calf muscles and some core work of course as for the new routine which I am following. Now I am going to start off with the dynamic stretching of course, the regular. Yes, I did add the bird pose for 4 to 5 repetitions each side as an addition to my dynamic stretching routine. Now this particular pre-workout hardly takes 4 to 5 minutes and I don't hold any of the stretches for more than 3 to 5 seconds. Just flow through the movement. The video is sped up so it's going a little bit faster but at least 2 to 3 seconds. That's it. I'm not holding it for longer. I'm not focusing on lengthening the muscle before the workout. I want them just mobile enough and I find the greatest stretch a great way to start of my workouts. Now post completing the greatest stretch I always sit in a deep squat for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Now that is to just make sure there's no hip mobility restrictions regardless of what body part I'm working on. I'm, I still do have butt wink issues in my deep squats so work is still in progress in terms of correcting that part. Now the bird pose is to enhance my core strength, something which I have been focusing lately because personally I feel that my core strength is not optimal or where I want it to be. So this is one way of working around to improve my core strength. Post completing these as a pre-workout routine, I move on to my working exercises or the working muscle. Now always I start the first exercise with at least two sets of warm up wherein I do 10 to 15 repetitions just to get the positioning right, the reps right, the weight right and once I am ready I start with my working sets. So the first exercise is inclined cable chest press. So I am using the cable crossover machine and an inclined bench to do my chest press. I am nowadays preferring to do this this particular way with cables because the tension and the effect I feel is far better than a regular bench press with dumbbells or barbells so preferring to stick to this and also it feels great on my shoulders and I get a deep amount of stretch uh, so yeah that's great going for me so that's one of the reasons why I'm choosing to do inclined cable chest press 3 sets 15 repetitions with 1 minute break in between. I always finish off with uh, uh, lengthened partial repetitions as I come near to the failure as you can see here just try to wrap out as much as possible and once done we are done and we are move on to the next exercise for the next exercise it's calf work so calf presses on the leg press machine three sets every set as many repetitions as possible and whenever I say as many repetitions as possible I mean control repetitions wherein you're hitting high lemon high amount of fatigue with good amount of weight you're not just repping it out for the sake of repping it out you're controlling the motion you're feeling that uh, blood accumulation pump in the targeted muscle so i tend to get 25 to 30 repetitions of the particular weight i choose to do so yes three sets as many repetitions as possible and once i'm done with every set i feel a very tight pump in my calf muscle so i know that the job has been done for that particular set and I'm not able to do any more calf races in that set. So yes, that is how I measure my failure. Post completing the calf muscles, I move on to core work wherein I chose to do regular crunches starting off with lengthened partial crunches, just laying down, not completely getting up, just crunching the abdominal. And the reason why I'm placing my hands behind my lower back is to, you know, consciously avoid rounding my lower back a lot while doing the crunches. My focus was only to crunch my abdomen. Yes, they will be a little bit rounding, but I don't want it to exaggerate it. So yes, just a support on my lower back by placing my arms, that physical feedback, physical touch feedback. And once I have enough tightness generated, I started doing a little bit higher repetitions wherein I started getting up a little bit more. So I have done this three times, so three sets as many repetitions as possible so I was able to get 20-25 repetitions slow controlled repetitions again the eccentric motion I always tend to control so that I can get the maximum amount of stretch and engagement of that muscle. Post completing the crunches I moved on to plank 
Plank is something which again, my personal favorite. It's not something which you also are supposed to do. You can choose to do any other core workout, but I like to do the plank on a BOSU ball with a little bit of instability at my elbows. Also, it feels great on my elbows. I mean, I don't like putting resting my elbows a long time on the floor. So BOSU ball is soft and also a little bit instability. So challenging part there. One minute of plank and then we move on to chest flies. Three sets, 20 repetitions on the pec fly machine. The cable crossover also you can do the same exercise. It's just that the equipment was busy. So I've started using this one. Again, the part you have to focus is the deep stretch. Hold there for a second and bring it up back as close as possible and squeeze your chest in and then deep stretch again. 20 repetitions. You can also finish off this exercise or also with lengthened partials wherein you go very close to failure. Which again is a choice, but otherwise three to three sets, 20 repetitions is more than sufficient. The amount of stretch and blood flow you will get in your chest would be great. You will actually start feeling a lot of fatigue by now because the first exercise and the second exercise of chest will give you a great amount of pump already. But then we are going to end it off on a high by doing a body weight exercise that is push ups with a deficit. So, slightly elevated hand position to get a little bit more depth. If you want, you can also place your feet at a height that would also help in getting that deficit. But I prefer hand position first, getting that deep stretch holding there for a second and then pushing back up three sets as many repetitions as possible here when I hit failure that means I'm not able to get off the ground anymore so that's the failure part make sure your elbows are tucked in you don't flare them out you feel the stretch in your chest when you're coming back up try to be a little bit explosive when you're going down go as controlled as possible stay there at the low most point as at least for a couple of seconds to feel the stretch and yes that's it we are done with our exercising part we are going to finish off with static stretching uh, the preferred stretch for me today is holding a couple of five kilo dumbbells in a fly position for 15 to 20 seconds a couple of times feeling the stretch it's actually a forced stretch more than a static stretch. It's a forced stretch with loaded stretch also you may call it. So a lot of emphasis also helps, you know, the joint, the shoulder joint and the tendons, the chest uh, attachments become stronger. Since we are not lifting extremely heavy weight, it's still fine. So if you did like this workout, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I hope. You enjoyed the workout working along with me. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.